What if I told you we could become immune to all diseases, not in 100 years, but in the next five, and that the first line of immortal health defense might work in your bloodstream or walk the hospital halls? Sounds like sci-fi, right? But today we've got bots that can do that. In this video, we'll talk about two revolutionary technologies that could completely reshape human health. AI-powered nanobots that could make us immune to every disease and Neurobot, a humanoid robot nurse running on NVIDIA's AI brain. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, we need to ask, could nanobots, powered by artificial intelligence, actually make us immortal? Or at least immune to everything from cancer to the common cold by 2030? Let's jump right in. Our population is aging fast. Healthcare systems are stretched thin. Nurses are burning out and chronic disease isn't slowing down. But what if we had an intelligent support system that never tires, never forgets, and can repair damage from inside your body or down the hospital hallway? That's not coming in 2050, it's already beginning now. So what exactly are these nanobots? They're microscopic machines, thousands of times smaller than a grain of sand, designed to operate inside your body. They swim through your bloodstream, identify damaged cells, deliver drugs directly to the source of infection, and maybe even repair your DNA. Now, here's the twist. For decades, we've had the theory, but not the control. The big problem? At that scale, the human body is a chaotic jungle, unpredictable, constantly changing, and downright hostile to anything artificial. That's where AI steps in. With the help of artificial intelligence, nanobots can now learn how to navigate that environment. They can make split-second decisions inside your body. Think of them as microscopic doctors with machine learning as their medical degree. And they're getting smarter by the day. But AI doesn't just control the nanobots, it designs them. Before a single nanobot ever touches a human cell, it's modeled by machine learning systems that simulate millions of possible shapes, materials, and movement styles. These simulations can predict which designs will be stable, efficient, and compatible with your body without the need for a real-world experiment. For example, bottom-up chemical synthesis can now produce nanobots with custom shapes and surfaces, and AI helps optimize every single atom for performance. This isn't guesswork anymore, it's computational precision. Researchers are using algorithms to determine what works best inside a cancerous tumor or near a clogged artery long before they enter a lab. So next time someone says, oh, nanotech is theoretical, you might want to show them a neural network hard at work designing cancer-fighting micro-machines. Now let's talk about something that feels like magic. Once those nanobots are inside your body, they're not just floating around. They navigate their new environment autonomously. Using deep reinforcement learning, they can navigate through the bloodstream, evade immune responses, circumvent obstacles, and even detect disease markers in real time. Imagine someone dealing with a bacterial infection in their liver. The AI nanobot combo can spot the problem, swim directly to the site, and deploy medicine only where it's needed. No more shotgun antibiotics. No more chemo that harms your whole body. Just targeted therapy delivered with surgical precision. And the best part? The AI doesn't just follow a preset path, it adapts. If a blockage appears, it reroutes. If the immune system tries to attack it, it pivots strategy. This tech is real-time decision-making on the nanoscale. All right, let's address that burning question in your mind. Can these nanobots cure diseases? Well, we're already seeing promising trials. In one preclinical study, nanobots equipped with AI systems were able to identify cancerous cells and release drugs directly into tumor tissue without harming nearby healthy cells. Researchers are also exploring them for COVID-19 treatment, where they can potentially detect early viral markers and neutralize infection before symptoms appear. And here's the kicker. Thanks to their adaptability, AI nanobots could one day handle new viruses as soon as they emerge, with no need to wait months for new medications or vaccines you'd have an immune system upgrade. So are we on the brink of being disease-proof? We're not all the way there yet, but we're closer than you think. Let's be real, even if these bots can cure cancer, there's still one big concern. What if something goes wrong? After all, we're talking about letting artificial intelligence loose inside our bodies. That's why a significant amount of research right now is focused on safety systems. I'm talking about AI with error correction, real-time feedback from sensors, and even kill switches that enable doctors to deactivate the bots if necessary. Some are being programmed with strict parameters, such as refusing to operate unless they detect specific biomarkers. There's also the issue of toxicity, and scientists are tackling that by using biocompatible materials that won't trigger allergic or immune responses. The bottom line is that this isn't a let's cross our fingers kind of thing. 
It's a carefully controlled, data-driven field with layers of backup systems. It's built by people who know that when it comes to human health, there's no room for error. Hold on a second, if you're enjoying this glimpse into our AI-powered future, don't forget to give this video a like. It helps more people discover these trend-setting ideas. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. I've got more content on the way that'll blow your mind. Now back to our story, because when you thought it couldn't get more futuristic, there's another AI-powered miracle already walking the halls of real hospitals. One that's not microscopic, but full-sized. One that doesn't just cure you, but it also cares for you. I'm talking about Neurobot, the NVIDIA-powered robotic nurse who's already saving lives. So we've discussed invisible robots swimming inside your body, but what about a robot you can see, touch, and talk to? That's exactly what's happening with Neurobot, an AI-powered humanoid robot nurse that might be the future of hospital care. Unveiled at Computex by Foxconn, NVIDIA, and Kawasaki, Neurobot isn't some futuristic concept. It's already in testing at a real hospital in Taiwan, and it's solving real problems. Let's see why and how. Hospitals all over the world are under pressure. Staff shortages, burnout, and rising demand, especially with aging populations, are pushing healthcare workers to the brink. And that's where Neurobot steps in. Neurobot does more than roll down hallways. It continuously monitors vital signs, tracking heart rate, temperature, and oxygen levels. And if something looks off, Neurobot doesn't wait. It immediately flags it to human nurses. That alone could save lives in situations where seconds matter, but it doesn't stop there. It delivers medications and meals autonomously. No more calling a nurse to fetch pills or bring water. Neurobot handles that efficiently and on schedule. That frees up human staff to focus on critical decisions and patient care. And then there's the part you might not expect, emotional support. Yes, this humanoid robot can communicate with patients, recognize their routines, and adapt to their individual needs. It's not just reading a script, it's learning from every interaction. Here's an example. Let's say a patient usually wakes up around 5 a.m. and needs help to sit up. After a few days, Neurobot notices the pattern and starts showing up a few minutes before. No alarm needed, no call button pressed. That's machine learning in action. At the core of all this is NVIDIA's cutting-edge AI platform, which powers the robot's natural language processing, behavior prediction, and decision-making. It involves analyzing real-time data, adjusting in real-time, and continually improving. No two Neurobots are the same because each one evolves based on the patients it cares for. Nurses who've worked with Neurobot during early trials are already calling it a revolutionary solution. One nurse described it as an extra set of hands that never gets tired. Another said it's like having a silent partner, someone who handles the routine, repetitive stuff, so they can focus on what matters, complex care and emotional presence. And the patients? Many say they feel more at ease just knowing Neurobot is there and always watching, always available, always ready to help. There's no longer a novelty. It's not a science fair project. It's operational right now, and the implications are massive. Imagine every hospital wing with a few Neurobots. Tireless bots handle vital checks, basic deliveries, and conversational comfort so human nurses can focus on tasks only they can do. And here's where it all connects. Whether it's AI-driven nanobots inside your bloodstream or a full-size Neurobot by your hospital bed, this is all part of a larger trend. AI isn't just about smart assistants or writing tools anymore. It's becoming a life-saving force in healthcare, a silent revolution, one hospital hallway, one bloodstream at a time. And here's what I want to know. Would you trust a robot like Neurobot to care for you or someone you love? Let's talk about it. So there you have it. From disease-fighting nanobots to the rise of Neurobot, the nurse that never needs a break, we're entering an era where AI could keep us alive longer and care for us better while we're here. But the future raises questions. Safety, privacy, trust, humanity. What role should AI play in your most vulnerable moments? I want to hear from you. If you had the choice, would you rather have nanobots inside your body preventing illness or a robot nurse like Neurobot by your side helping you heal? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read and reply to every one of them. And if this video made you think differently about what's possible with AI, make sure to like it, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss what's coming next. The future of health isn't science fiction anymore. It's already here and it's getting smarter. See you in the next one.